My na name is Takaki Uda from pa uh, Public Works Research Center in Japan. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the uh, topographic response to extension of an oblique training jetty at the Imagireguchi Taida Inlet. So introduction. At the Taida Inlet, Domisa Sand Transport meets cross movement of sand due to ebb and uh, flat tidal currents, causing a sophisticated topographic changes. So the study on the tidal inlet is of engineering importance. Tan et al. predicted the evolution of ebb tidal deltas using the Delta 3D. We also developed a model for predicting topographic changes of an ebb tidal data using the PG model and uh, predicted uh, beach changes at the uh, Imagireguchi inlet of Lake Hamana. Uh, at this inlet, inlet westward longshore sand, sand transport prevails together with the strong offshore currents generated by the ebb tidal current, resulting in sand movement in the direction normal to the coast, coastline. At this inlet, an oblique jetty, uh, oblique tra training jetty had been constructed by 1973 to stabilize the inlet. Although 45 years have passed from the completion of the train jetty to 2018, significant topographic changes still continue to occur offshore of the tidal inlet. Here, topographic changes, including the data set collected until 2017, were investigated and the development and deformation of ebb tidal data were studied using these field data. This showed the location of Imagireguchi tidal inlet facing the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the, uh, the, the location uh, in the east of the, uh, this uh, study site, there's a uh, Tendu, uh, Tendu River flows into the Pacific Ocean. And the Romisha sediment transport is uh, is to west. The, the, down the figure show the uh, uh, vicinity of tidal inlet. Uh, on the left left hand side, uh, side a lot of sand accumulated, and uh, instead the, the on, on down coast shoreline retreated. Uh, this. Uh, Figure showed the bathymetry in 1964 before the extension of the uh, oblique jetty. Uh, you can see the uh, all, all contours extend parallel to the shoreline. And at that time, the, uh, uh, this, the, uh, the there's an inlet here, so uh, long distance transport was interrupted at the inlet. So, uh, are causing a down cost erosion a little bit. And uh, but in but in 1978, uh, oblique jetty was constructed, extended, and the ebb tidal delta start, started to form west of the inlet. See, look at the uh, this protruded shoreline of ten. In 2017, the uh, ebb tidal delta markedly developed west of the inlet. The de three detached breakwaters were also constructed to stabilize the down coast shoreline. This showed the uh, bathymetric changes from 1978 to 1985. The red sign showed the uh, sand accumulation and the blue line, uh, blue blue color showed the uh, erosion. So. In this, at this time, the uh, uh, sand was deposited uh, just uh, uh, south southwest south of the jetty, around uh, the, at the depth of 10 meter. Then the foreign beach changes is something like this from 1978 to 1990. A lot of sand was deposited uh, offshore of the tidal inlet, uh, resulting in the advance of the faucet slope. 
Until 1994, the Father Sun deposition occurred, uh, covering all the outer shore of the inlet. Further uh, father changes occurred until 1998. A lot of sand uh, deposit offshore, offshore of the inlet, covering the inlet. Then another different beach chain, uh, changes started to occur. Uh, the uh, sand deposition offshore of the sun, uh, inlet is the same, but look at the uh, uh, channel between uh, inside the uh, inlet, blue zone extended from the bottom to the, the offshore. And also uh, at the same time, the, the, the trough was formed on the, on the east of the trading jetty. Uh, this cha th these changes continued to occur until nine, 2009. The, the same situation occurred. So severe beach uh, erosion occurred inside the uh, channel, and also the uh, also uh, the very deep uh, trough was formed on the, in the on the east side of the training jetty. The, then uh, to until to 2014. Uh, uh, Similar bathymetric changes occurred as uh, as that in 2009. Uh, this is shows the final situation uh, and the, the the topography in 2017. Uh, here, uh, the I dotted line show the uh, examination area in in, in Fitch. Uh, the, uh, we calculated the sand volume in this area. So before that, uh, the, the, this, this shows the schematic di diagram of current around, the, around an island. Say, a strong ebb tidal current is forced to flow out in a straight line by the trading jetty. And the shore current is indeed induced west of the strong, uh, strong offshore currents like this resulting in the formation of a large scale of circulation this this similarly on the east side side a force current is generated near the tip of the training jetty the current field can be accelerated in the in the vicinity of the training jetty on the eastern side of the inlet by the ebb tidal current so but this show the uh, the fig figure six Change in sand volume since 1964. The total volume of sand in the ebb tidal data, this one, uh, decreased you see, here after 2005, even though it increased at the rate of uh, 84,000 cubic meter per year between 1964 and 2005. Look at this, this increase, increasing. But that's after the 2005, the, the change, uh, totally, uh, the situation changed, uh, decreased from uh, uh, 2000, 2005. Sand was deposited at a, at a rate of 34,000 cubic meter per year in the zone deeper than, deeper than 10 meter after 2005. And the seabed was eroded at a rate of 73,000 cubic meter per year in a zone shallower than 10 meters. Thus, th thus, the increase in sand volume of the entire study area after 2005 was mainly attributable to the decrease in the, in the zone shallower than 10 meters. The sand supply after 2005 can be calculated by sub practicing that sand, uh, sand loss at the rate of 34,000 cubic, cubic, cubic meter per year towards a zone deeper than 10 meter, and by adding that the rate of sand supply 73,000 cubic meter per year from the erosion uh, in, the, in the zone shallower than 10 meter, resulting uh, in the sand supply down cost of uh, uh, 102, 100, 
23,000 cubic meter per year in total. So, I, I would like to conclude my study. Assuming that the entire westward sun transport through the inlet temporarily decreased to zero during the period when the tidal data had rapidly developed until 2005, the rate of sun supply by westward sun, uh, sun, long sun, sun transport to the inlet became uh, 84,000 cubic meter per year. Although a large-scale tidal data developed offshore of this tidal inlet after the extension of the training jetty, sand is st still depositing at a rate of 34,000 cubic meter per year to the faucet slope of the ebb tidal data. Despite the development of the ebb tidal data, sand discharge by westward long sun transport, transport has been occurring in the zone shallower than 10 meters since 2005, and sand is supplied down coast. Approximately the same amount of long sun sun transport as that before the construction of this tidal inlet was found, implying that the bathymetry around the inlet is approaching a dynamic, dynamically